Welcome back, everybody. Okay, something brand new is flying into SeaWorld. It's the aviary, and I got a chance to travel to Orlando for a sneak peek of what you'll experience once it opens up in San Antonio. Take a look at what you'll find. Well, we made it here at one of the entrances inside the aviary at Discovery Cove. And these two guys here are actually from South America. So you, as you can imagine, we're going to actually have some of these birds, SeaWorld in San Antonio, where you can enjoy a little bit of the water, a little bit of bird watching. It's a wonderful experience. You can explore it on your own. You can do it all with all families. Everybody has access to it, and it's highly interactive. One of my favorite moments in the aviaries that you're going to have is floating through on the lazy river, and the birds actually coming down, and they're swimming in the same water. They will sit, they will perch, and you will get to see, touch, and listen and communicate with nature in a way that you cannot do anywhere else on this planet. Those birds are being raised here at, sea, at Discovery Cove, over at our SeaWorld Park, at SeaWorld Texas Park, and at Aquatica Texas. We do not bring the birds in from the wild. These are birds that are raised in our care um, through our populations that we currently have. And several of these species are threatened, endangered, or vulnerable. Again, part of our, our uh, commitment to conservation and educating people about these animals. Uh, the exhibit will have educators on staff to teach people about these beautiful uh, birds. It's really an immersive experience to celebrate with these animals here. This is Maddie. She's a gray go away. So it's from the Toronto family. I know you're so excited. You're so excited. I've known her for 13 years. So okay. she's one of my buddies. So we've been together for a very long time. Beautiful bird. Okay, Jennifer, I saw these cards here. These are pretty helpful, it right? Extremely helpful. These are one of our identification cards, so it's kind of neat. The guests can walk around all through the aviaries. It has two sides to it. So you have a majority of our species in here are the ones that definitely will interact with the guests. So make a point around and be like, yes, that's the one that you're feeding uh -huh. right now. Yeah. These are some beautiful birds, Jennifer. Thank you. And I love the cards. The cards are very helpful. When you actually see them in person, they're, it's, they're beautiful. In San Antonio, Texas, we're familiar with the grackle. Yes. We're not going to find a grackle here. We will not find a grackle here. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe outside of the park, but not in our aviary. No grackles here. No grackles here. <laughs> wow. Hey, <gasps> So they can see what their favorite are. They will pick out their favorite stuff. They yes. <laughs> and he said, I'm done. He's like, no. <laughs> it's much better than swimming with like, the fishes. You oh, think so? Yeah. Absolutely. <laughs> so are you guys having a good time here? Yeah, definitely. Now, Aquatica Texas is really going to go to the next level. All new, super intense animal interaction experiences, uh, zero entry beach, lots of big sand. It's really taking Aquatica Texas to that five star, world class, uh, you know, destination that it, that it is. All right, joining us, Animal Ambassador Chuck Caro. Chuck, that was so much fun. Where in Aquatica are we going to see this aviary? Okay, so we've got Aquatica. It's been around for a couple of years. Yeah. Very, very popular. There's a lazy river. What we're going to do is we're going to construct an aviary, and we're going to mm -hmm. call it Roa's Aviary. Roa is one of the characters at Aquatica there that goes over a portion of this lazy river. So you can be floating through this lazy river. Mm -hmm. You'll see birds sw uh, flying up above. Sometimes they'll land in the water. Sometimes they'll even land on you. There's going to be opportunities for you to get food, to feed these animals. You're going to be immersed. In, in birds and in water is going to be the place to be. That's going to uh, be fun. Yeah, Aquatica opens up on March 8th, just in time for spring break. Oh my goodness, March 8th. Okay, you were saying water. Speaking of water, mm -hmm. I cannot believe that Chuck Caro oh. got me in the water. Listen, she <laughs> is petrified of water, but we, you know, at SeaWorld, we actually have swim lessons. <laughs> yes. You can go online to Aquatica and learn about these swim lessons. We're going to sign you up for these swim lessons. We will. Yeah. You, you want to see exactly how I did? Show them. All right, let's you watch. show them. <laughs> I am with Chuck Crow. Chuck, my goodness. I've told you this before. I, I don't swim, but I'm actually in the water. And we are so <laughs> proud of you. Yay! You know, you know, that's one of the things about SeaWorld and Aquatica. We want people to learn to do new things. We want people to learn about animals. You can learn how to swim. There's even swim lessons at Aquatica, okay. by the way. Okay. But anyways, I, I had digress. no idea. I had no idea. Now, tell us exactly where we are right now. Well, we are here in, at Discovery Cove in Orlando, Florida. And we're, we're showing you some of the new things that will be coming to SeaWorld San Antonio and Aquatica next year in 2014. So, so right now, we are in a... Cool. It's a tropical reef. It's got stingrays. We've got a stingray right here. Look at that. Beautiful. That's a cow nose ray that just swam by. Underneath this right here, look at that wingspan. 
It's about three and a half, four feet wide, maybe six, seven feet long. This is a southern stingray, one of the many animals that you can see here at Discovery Cove. You can also see them at Aquatica in San Antonio. As you see, you've got your wetsuit yes. on, you've got goggles and a uh -huh. snorkel. You and I are going to go snorkeling out there. Oh my gosh. Hey, let's do this. Oh my god. I don't know how long I can go. <laughs> I'm going to do it if I do that. <laughs> You could do it, Eileen. You could do it. Inhale and exhale. Just put your face in the water. Do that. Keep standing. No, don't, don't cover that up. Cause I, I can't breathe! I can't breathe! I can't breathe! Ready? One, two, three. Yay, Eileen! You see snorkel? Kinda. <laughs> I was afraid you were going to go way under and cover this up and get a mouthful of water. You, you lied to me! <laughs> yeah, that's so pathetic. That is how but, it went but down. But Aquatica has some great swimming lessons. Has some great swimming lessons. Mm -hmm. And again, let's get back to, let's let's talk about that aviary yes. that we are building. It's called Roa's Aviary. Oh, Did hey, you see that? look here. This is some of the birds you might be able to see out at Aquatica. This is a roseate spoonbill. His name is Padre. He's saying, yes, come on out and visit with us. Padre, an interesting animal, actually one of the thousands of animals that have born, or actually mm -hmm. in this case, been hatched out at SeaWorld. Um, they're actually found down in the marshes down in Galveston Bay. SeaWorld actually goes down and participates. We put people out there in the marshes to help mm -hmm. Plant marsh grass to provide homes for these animals in their natural environment. This there. is wonderful. So, so this bird right here is from where again? Uh, uh, from the Galveston Bay from area. From the Galveston yep. Bay Rosie area. Oh my yeah, goodness. Yeah. But this is great because this is what we're going to see. We're going to see. We're going to go see animals yeah. that are right in our Texas backyard. The interesting thing about the rosy and spoonbill, I got to tell this story here. Okay. As they, as they get older, guess what happens to them? What? They get bald. They get. <laughs> So the two of you have something. <laughs> we have a lot in common, <laughs> okay. but it also happens with the ladies too. It's not just a male pattern. So this is ladies happen. A little observation well. on uh, on animal behavior. It was just kind of bobbing its head, <laughs> just it's saying, like, "Come, yes. come to uh, to uh, to Sea World." Come to Sea World and Aquatica. Yes, Sea World again <laughs> opens. The Day after tomorrow, February 1st. Oh, gosh. Okay. Um, yeah, and, and we've got Wild Days. Jack Hanna is going to be here this weekend. Opportunities to cool. interact with Jack Hanna. Go online at SeaWorld.com. You can see our shows. You can register to have breakfast with Jack Hanna, have dinner with Jack Hanna. Nice. And, of course, come on out. SeaWorld is open, folks. Come on out and okay, visit. Okay, Wild Days with Jack Hanna, SeaWorld. Make sure you stop by Saturday and Sunday. And then next month, it's going to open up. Well, March. We're March for we're Aquatica. In That's right. Aquatica yeah. will <laughs> open up. We've got spring break. We're going to spring into nights, give you a Sneak peek of some of our Very summer nice. stuff. It, it's great. It's going to be wonderful. Thank you so much, Chuck. Thank you. Padre. Our friend Padre. And thank you again. And thank thanks, you, Missy.